guys welcome back to another video now today I'm going to be talking about radiation and I know in my last video I talked about radiation in wireless technology but what I forgot to touch on was the radiation in nature itself and how we're exposed to that and how man is able to sort of play with that type of radiation in nature to benefit our health things like uh, cat scans x-rays and all these different sorts of things you see in hospitals use you know a, just a little bit of uh, radiation to get the job done so before I go into that I want first want to define a few things radiation by definition is the emission of energy as electromagnetic waves or as moving subatomic particles especially high energy particles that cause ionization there are two types of radiation non ionizing and ionizing the first one non ionizing cannot break DNA bonds and cause cancer but it can kill cells at high levels by cooking. Now the second one, ionizing, can disrupt DNA bonds and cause cancer. What exactly is cancer though? Cancer is, is a disease caused by uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body. Cancer can also be defined as a malignant growth or tumor resulting from a division of abnormal cells. Now since radiation is split into two different categories, non-ionizing and ionizing, now I want to mention ionization by definition is the process where an atom or molecule acquires a negative or positive charge by losing or gaining an electron. Now a question that comes up more often than not would be, can you feel radiation? And my answer would be, not consciously at least, but the cells within the human body can detect radiation by themselves. They repair any damage and communicate with each other to establish their defenses against it. Now another question would be, can you trust radiation? Of course, we can trust it, or we should trust it because it provides advancement in the medical health. Things like CT scans or CAT scans that give you a pretty clear representation of inside your body uses a radiation level 20 times lower than the smallest dose that caused cancer in Hiroshima. However, it does account for the larger single radiation exposure. Now, another question would be, how much radiation can you really trust? Now, according to WebMD, radiation exposure is commonly measured in, I may butcher this name, but it's commonly measured in millisieverts, or MSV for short. The average person in the US can expect to receive no more than three MSV of exposure per year from naturally occurring background radiation. An exposure of greater than 20 MSV is considered high, while greater than 3 to 20 is considered moderate levels. Now, another question would be, can you develop sickness because of radiation? It is mainly due to the severity of radiation and how much you've absorbed. And how much you've absorbed depends on the strength of the radiated energy and the distance between you and the source of radiation. The sign and symptoms of treatable radiation sickness are nausea and vomiting. The time between you were exposed to when you began developing symptoms will indicate how much radiation a person has absorbed. Radiation is something that can be found naturally and almost everywhere in our environment. Heat, light, our everyday microwave all emit a form of radiation, uranium, Thorium, radium emit radiation and they are found naturally in Earth's soil. Our bodies are all exposed to small amounts of radiation. 80% of human exposure comes from natural sources. The remaining 20% comes from man-made radiation sources. In my opinion, anything man-made deserves a level of doubt respectively to what we may be questioning because we are all humans and you know we do make mistakes even if uh what what whatever is made goes through a whole bunch of extensive testing it <laughs> just like computers it can fail every once in a while even though it may be a really small amount you never know what could happen really well, if you like this video please let me know by hitting that like button leave a comment down below of what you think about radiation and all of these different things that can really help advance 
technology when it comes to uh, medical health or um, understanding how we can manipulate radiation in a good way hopefully <laughs> and like I said I hope you enjoyed this video please share this video and let other people know about radiation thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace